It's only November 1st, but for many of us, it's time to push the pumpkins aside. If you plan on getting a Christmas tree, drought and supply conditions could make things more complicated. Kirsten Mitchell explains the growing pains and what they mean for you. We are making Christmas trees. It's the busiest time of year for Mark Hansen at Hansen Tree Farm in Ramsey. It takes about 10 little bundles. The fifth generation family farm has thousands of trees ready for families to cut, a popular activity since the pandemic. We had well, at least 50% increase in number of people coming to cut their own tree and spend the afternoon out here. But keeping up with demand isn't easy when the supply was planted eight to 10 years ago. There's always been some trees, but you know, people are not finding towards the end of the season as big a tree or as, you know, nice a tree. Hanson Tree Farm says they lost about 15% of their newly planted trees over the past two years because of the drought. Here's a good example of one tree that didn't make it past this spring, but they say it could have been a whole lot worse if they didn't have this irrigation system. This drought is really going to impact not the supply next year, but eight years from now. There will be a Christmas tree for everyone who wants one. But the National Christmas Tree Association says to expect higher prices. Everybody who's in any kind of business has experienced higher costs, farmers in particular. A survey of wholesale growers who account for about two thirds of the nation's supply showed 71% expect to raise prices charged to retailers by 5 to 15%, some as high as 20%. A labor of love. In eight years, it'll be like that one. Withstanding the changes of each season. Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. Hanson Tree Farm recommends getting a tree early and then making sure it has, fre it's, it has a fresh cut and plenty of water to make it last for the holiday.